Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to run Python scripts in Ubuntu. There are three different methods I will review that we can use to run Python scripts. Let us bring up our terminal, and I will run the ls command to list the files in our directory. We can see that we have our Python file here. I will call nano and the name of our script to bring the Python file up in our editor. The script is simple, all it does is it prints out hello world. Let us go back to our terminal and review our first method to execute the file. The first method we will use is calling the python command within our terminal. I am going to type out python3. Then I am going to type out the file name hello.py. And the python interpreter will compile the code running our script. We can see here that we were able to execute the file and we have hello world printed out. The second method we will use allows us to change permissions on a file that will allow us to run it as a program. We will call the chmod command, also known as change mode. Chmod is a command that allows users to change the access permissions or modes of a specified file or directory. We can call chmod plus x, then the Python file name to make our Python script executable for all users. If we want only the owner to be able to run the script as an executable, we write chmod u plus x, then the file name. And we have made our file executable. Please note that the chmod command can be only used by the file owner or a super user. Additionally, we need to add a shebang to the top of our Python script. I will call nano again and the Python script name. At the top of the script, I will write hashtag exclamation point forward slash user forward slash bin forward slash python3. And I am going to save this. What this line does is it tells our operating system shell where to find the Python interpreter for our script. We need to set this as our first line of the script and we cannot have any comments before this line. Let's go back to our terminal. To run the script, I need to put a period, then a forward slash, then I am going to call hello.py. And we were able to print out hello world again with our second method. The third method we will use is running a Python script using a integrated development environment, or IDE. In my case, I have idle installed on my distribution, but you can follow similar steps with other IDEs such as VS Code or Subline. I am going to call the idle IDE within the terminal by just typing idle. Next, I am going to open our file. I am going to go to File, Open, and I am going to select hello.py. And then to execute the script, I can select Run and Run Module. And we can see that we were able to print out Hello World within our IDE. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you found the video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone for watching and happy coding.